finishing up the um, morning chest PT and uh, finishing up my one. Okay, so we just got to the hospital and we're gonna go to the doctor. Well, it's in the hospital, I mean, you know. But uh, anyways, we had a moment just now. We caught the elevator up and uh, Jillian forgot which floor it was, so we were both debating as the elevator doors were closing. And uh, she's like, one or two, one or two. She's like, she's like, she literally couldn't figure out which, <laughs> which uh, she had uh, what we call a brain part. So yeah, so that was pretty funny. But um, I couldn't remember if you were one or main, but I did a but but So yeah, so we're gonna go up now. And hopefully the visit's a good visit in terms of lung function and stuff. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know when we get there. We are here. Still having a little drink, and she's really on a streak today. So first she couldn't figure out which floor we had to go on, and then when we were in the elevator, she uh, we were supposed to go to the eighth floor. I was running off the fourth. I got so excited. The elevator stopped on the fourth floor. I guess you know, pick up some other people, and she starts walking out. Going. And she's like, oh, oh, and she got back in. <laughs> so yeah, she must be my eye. She's having trouble with the floors today. Must I don't be know what's my going eye. on. My left eye is all must be the Tapirame. Just kidding. Um, so yeah, we're here. She's filling out some consent forms, and then she's gonna go do some PFTs. Which, for any of you that don't know what that is, it's lung function test, pulmonary function. Pulmonary function. Um, and we um, that the well, just in case there's people coming on watching us, brand new. But um, then she's gonna do blood work, and I think is that it. And then, you get, and then you get your drugs, the you get the goods. And, uh, that's about it. So keep you posted. Now 11:35. Jillian is reading her consent form here. She looks very uh. Involved. Studious. I'm studious today. She's doing homework. She's reading the whole thing like she's actually reading the whole thing. <laughs> I actually had my own read and I before I signed. But um, you know how it is. Typically, we just hit agree. As humans, we never actually read the the uh, terms and conditions. I'm only reading this one, the, the one that's is. ten pages long. I'm not reading because <laughs> I already read that. It's just the mm -hmm. new thing. You know. So hey guys, I want to show you something really, really cool that I never realized was in the office. But um, this gives an idea of what certain medications do for people with cystic fibrosis and how the mucus is in their There's lungs. A little, little uh, contraption here. As you can see, this one says CF mucus without pulmonizine. That's an example of the mucus. And then CF mucus with pulmonizine. Look at the difference. You ready? I'm about to turn it over. Look at that. You see how the one with the pulmonizine, the medication, thinned is thinned out so much? enough to be able to allow it to move whereas cystic fibrosis mucus is so hard that it gets stuck in the lungs and causes infections and just all nasty crazy things in there solid, become more. solid and that's how you lose lung function and uh yeah it's a pretty cool example i never realized they had them in the office guys i just woke up from a nap i was exhausted I don't think today was such a long day, but for me it must have been. And um, I'm wrecking things as usual. Look what happened. I went for one jelly ring, which diabetics should not be going for jelly rings, chocolate jelly rings, and look what happened. Yay. Now I gotta put them all back. Always getting myself into trouble. So I'm gonna go fix the jelly rings and then start my second nighttime chest PT. Ta da, that's much better, isn't it? Good thing I learned how to play uh, blocks when I was younger. Guys, I am back and it's bedtime. But first, of course, you guys know before it's bedtime, it's pill time. Bedtime. So it's pretty cool. I finished four complete weeks of the Tezacaptor Ivacaptor, and this is the nighttime dose of it. So that pack is empty, as you guys could see here. So, um, that'll go in the garbage. And so, we'll be starting week five tomorrow. So, um, that's pretty cool. I completed four full weeks of that 
drug combo. So, um, yeah, we're pretty thankful for that. And, um, can't believe how quick the time has gone by, right? Yeah, very quick. It's flying. It really yeah. is. And, um, so I don't think I gave you guys an update because I literally fell asleep when I got home. I was exhausted. And, um, so we did pulmonary function test to Cesario. I told you guys earlier I'd be doing. And so my lung function did go down a little bit from almost two weeks ago, week and a half ago. So um, I'm back in the 60s again, unfortunately. But um, only went down by about 4%. So um, we're going to do our best and get back up to hopefully the 70s again. And um, yeah. So, I lost another pound. So that's not good. So, um, it's not like, whoa, but I am about nine pounds down from my normal of, um, where I used to be when I was actually on the Orcombi. So, um, I'm hoping the Tezacaptor, if the Captor combo can do for me what the Orcombi did as far as my weight gain goes. So, um. Yeah, hopefully that'll work, but I got some, I was talking to the nutritionist quickly today, and I got some in short and live, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, and live and live, not sure, but this is it here, and it's got um, 350 calories in it and 11 grams of fat and 20 grams of protein, and for the diabetics out there, 45 grams of carbs, so um, it's got pretty good balance there. But anyway, the reason why I'm drinking them is because I haven't been eating too well and it just adds in for me the fat that is required for me to take the Tezacaptor, Ivacaptor medication. In order for that drug to work, you need a decent amount of fat, you know, along with the medication to get it to work. So that could also be why um, even the medication isn't doing its full capacity for me because I haven't been really eating much fat with my meals and I just haven't been really hungry lately. So hopefully adding those in will help me out. So she sent me home with a few of them to try and I'm gonna see which ones I like and then order them. And um, yeah, so that's really it. That's the update for today. And um, I'm gonna take my beautiful pill concoction over here and um, do my stuff and go to bed. So, you gonna take a shower? I think so. He's gonna take a shower. Like, quick, like five minutes. And by the time he finishes showering, I'll probably still be staring at my pills over here. Because I'm a time waster and I like to look at them all night. But like super quick, like, in and out. So, I'll say goodnight. And I guess Rosario will say goodnight as well. Okay. And, um, oh, one more thing. I, um, was just thinking about this. We started the vlog in April. Oh, yeah. So... May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. So it's actually been nine months of vlogging. Wow. Yeah. So thank you all for um, following our journey and joining us. And um, two listening one. Yes, yeah, and Lung Warrior. Lung Warrior. And Debbie, of Debbie. course. And um, a lot of other people. A lot of other people. But um, those three names, of course, stuck out to me. Yeah. Um, we're in communication with those people. And I'm sure there's a lot of you guys, but those three stuck out because we answer your comments and everything. And, uh, um, yeah. So, we can't believe it's been nine months of vlogging already. Yeah, it's crazy, but isn't it? Hopefully we can do more exciting things in the vlog as I start to feel better, God willing. And, uh, hope you guys have a great week and a good night. And thank you for watching.